I don't know about this, guys. I'm scared. Hey, don't worry, my friend. It's gonna be just... <laughs> What's even the point, eh? It's going to be okay. Recycling is still one of the most positive actions people can make to fight against climate change. It'll be all right, my man. You're not alone. Oh, you're far from alone, my newfound friend. Santa Cruz City Trucks pick up an average of 36 tons of recycling every single weekday and transport it to the recycling center up the coast on Dimio Lane. This is where our journey starts. All right, it's go time. Let's do this. <laughs> All right, everyone's still with me? I'm all right, I'm still here. Ugh, what's that smell? Oh, yeah, okay, so first things first, my friends, sad news. Not everyone gets to live the dream of being recycled. That's right. Food left on recyclables can not only ruin an entire blue bin, but much of the entire truckload as well. That's why people need to remember that things with food on them need to go in the trash. We're lucky we didn't also get contaminated. Or we would have been tragically buried forever in the landfill too. Well, well that just sounds awful. It is. But just smile and wave goodbye at those poor unlucky items. They need all the positivity they can get right now. It is really sad to see. Wh who's that? Oh, that's Leslie, the recycling expert around these parts. Oh, uh, and that big old tortoise, that's Mavericks. He just loves to hang out and help around here. But there's still a lot we can do to reduce contamination, the biggest problem nationwide. It's not just food contamination, it's things like loose plastic bags and other tanglers that get wrapped around the machinery. That stuff belongs in the trash. Hey Mav, do me a favor, let's separate the water hose and the Christmas tree lights from the pile. They're not recyclable because they're mixed material. I want to avoid pushing them on the line. They could tangle up in the equipment causing damage, or even worse, somebody could get hurt trying to detangle it. Thanks for the help. Let's get on with the tour. You're gonna like this part. Yeah! As for the rest of us lucky ones, we get to start a ride on this conveyor belt. It's just like a roller coaster. Next, we get taken to the human pre-sort line, where trash, cardboard, and heavy paper are hand-picked from the conveyor belt. Thank you, human friends. We love you. The trash, cardboard, and heavy paper get sorted into three different chutes. One chute for things that can't be recycled, like food boxes. One chute for heavy paper items, like phone books. And one chute for cardboard, like me. Bye, friends! Whee! All the chutes then drop everyone off in different bins or silos. From there, the cardboard will get packed into bales for transport. Oh, I hear they make like 92 of us a week. We make over 150 bales a week of various commodities. That's over 7,500 a year. Wow, that's so cool. Back at the pre-sort line, bagged bags, scrap metal, and rigid plastics get placed in 33-gallon containers in the pre-sort area. Next, this crazy contraption called the V-Screen Machine separates the 2D items from the 3D items. Then, this fine screen machine separates the glass from plastic. Paper gets separated from non-recyclables over at the paper sort line. And our paper pals go up that conveyor belt to the paper bin outside. Later, Later paper! paper. The metal heads, like soup and vegetable cans, get pulled up by... A giant magnet! I can fly! The plastic and glass go up another conveyor belt, where they all get sorted into their own silos. Well, I guess it's my turn to go now, huh? Don't worry, this isn't the end, it's only the beginning. Well, here's the new beginnings. Ooh, yeah. Oh gosh, I'm actually so excited right now. Ooh, do you feel that breeze? I sure do. That means this is my stop. This eddy current is about to give me a real pick-me-up. Bye. Been nice knowing ya. See ya. He's on his way down to the baler. Our family, long time no see. 
I can't believe they squeezed 2,500 of us into this thing. I do believe this is where my journey continues. It sure has been... Ooh, I've got to work on that landing. We can recycle so many things if people just bring them here. Carpeting, mattresses, scrap metal, small appliances. That keeps an extra 50 to 75 tons out of the landfill every single day. And the really good news is those items can get turned into brand new things. New carpeting, new paper, aluminum cans, and so much more. Well, that's right. Well, my friends, while I'd love to keep hanging out with everyone, it's time for us to move on to new things. Gosh, I wonder what I'm going to get turned into next. I hope it's something cool, like one of those cardboard cat scratchers. Or maybe some VR goggles. Or, or maybe a shoebox. Or a... <laughs> Keep up the great recycling, Santa Cruz. And remember to recycle right. It's one of the most important tools to help in the fight against climate change. Getting to be new things is just so much fun. <laughs> <laughs>